already at the facelift we introduced um, uh, a new updated design. So starting with the front bumpers, uh, we have now LED lights. And I think uh, for uh, many i3 uh, customers and interested uh, in the i3, it's important we updated the uh, user interface to the next generation. So if now the latest and greatest inside, uh, from a technical standpoint, it is the same car before. It's more about uh, a refresh for the exterior design and some points for the interior design. And as I said, the uh, user interface. The R3 is now almost four years in the markets and the, the feedback from uh, all the customers uh, around the world was, well, that, that's great. Um, first of all, we need more range. We are well aware of that. That's the reason why we introduced the uh, bigger, back, big, bigger battery last year. And another demand um, quite uh, clear was, well, could be, it's fun. And it, it, it's actually fun, I drive one too but it could be even a little bit more fun. And that's the reason why we came up with the idea for the uh, i3S uh, with an increased power, with an um, improved um, electronic stability system, which is a lot, of, a lot of fun, really. You need to drive that car. It's, you can feel that. It's a, it's a difference. It's even more fun. And uh, so it's clearly based on uh, the f international feedback of our customers. It started in 2009 when we uh, had this uh, test fleet of the Mini E and um, then the Active E, so uh, we can, and of course then the i3, so we can base all of our ideas and planning uh, on a lot of input. And um, as I said before, we are well aware that range is still uh, an issue, of course. We introduced the car as a more um, urban uh, concept and a smaller battery because the main reason, and sometimes we we tend to forget that, the main reason for an electric car is to improve your CO2 footprint, the CO2 balance. And with the i3 and the smaller battery pack, even if you use the, the current energy mix, for example, here in Germany, we are in Frankfurt, which is not purely renewable energy, you beat a comparable uh, internal combustion engine car by 30%. If you use even renewable energy, maybe you have a solar, powered, uh, solar panel uh, at home, uh, you beat a comparable, comparable car by 50%, 50. And that's, just as a reminder, is the main reason for an electric car, to lower the CO2 footprint, not to put out a, a nice, uh, fun-to-drive car. It's about uh, the CO2 reduction. That's the reason. And that's the reason why we started with a smaller battery pack, with a reasonable bat battery pack. But of course, over the next couple of years, you will see updates. And uh, yesterday, we presented the BMW i Vision Dynamics, and that gives you an idea what will come uh, in the next couple of years. Ranges up to 600 kilometers, maybe up to 700 kilometers. With a new technology available, uh, you can still um, beat uh, the CO2 emissions of a comparable internal combustion engine. Based on, on, on our experience from the different markets, it's always the combination of, um, uh, of course, the charging network, because that, that is essential. You have gas stations all over the place, so uh, to solve the issue with the charging and uh, the charging network on one hand and certain benefits. And I'm not talking uh, about always financial benefits, something like that. It could be in very crowded urban areas, special parking places. Well, in the US, for example, you have some cities, um, which I know quite well, um, to have a, an exclusive parking spot for you. That is a real benefit. That is, if you are one of the few electric drivers who are allowed to park right in front of building XYZ, I don't know, that is a benefit. And if you then have a, a, a well-developed uh, charging network, then it really takes off. For example, we have, um, I always call it uh, uh, rockstar markets like Norway. We have now for this year, 40% share of electrified vehicles, new car sales in Norway. That is amazing. And we have the Netherlands, we have even Malaysia is one of our strongest markets. So, and if you look at those markets, it's always the combination of the right benefit using bus lanes, tax exemption, whatever, you name it, uh, and the charging network. That's the reason why we are uh, working together with energy providers and other partners to improve that. We have uh, initiator projects. Uh, for example, a couple of months ago, we electrified New Zealand together with the government and the energy provider. So. We are building up uh, charging stations along the highways uh, in, in New Zealand. So we are electrifying the hobbits, you could say. And um, not only there, we do that in, in, in Europe. We are partnering with uh, um, some companies in the US as well and with uh, ChargeNow. We are now offering um, the access to, 
I think 65,000 charging stations worldwide just with the one card charge now. But it's still room for improvement. Well, we announced, I think last week our CEO announced that all BMW electric vehicles will uh, be launched as BMW i's. And I will have a close eye on that, that they will all be real BMW i's. So the X3 will be based on the X3. That's the right to, uh, way to phrase it. Well, I think with the, uh, with the launch four years ago, something like that, well, I think the, the brand we launched even, even slightly before that, um, uh, we showed, well, okay, electrification and electrifying the world with the uh, i3 and with the i8 and now together with all the i-performance cars, which are uh, nine. So I think the broadest uh, range we are offering here. Um, the electrification, tick in the box. Now it's about um, broadening the one. So putting out products for, for higher sales volume. That's the next step. And uh, one step will be not only the electrification. Uh, we already uh, talked about in 2021, we will uh, uh, introduce the BMW iNext, which will combine then for the first time uh, electric drive and autonomous driving for level three and four. This will be a real uh, beacon. This year we will sell um, slightly above uh, 100,000 electrified cars. Two thirds will be uh, uh, plug-in hybrids, so high performance cars. And uh, I think it's a, an important technology uh, to maybe a bridging technology, I would say, because you still have in um, many markets the need for while well, traveling uh, over longer distance on a regular basis so for that a plug-in hybrid it's still because you don't need well to accelerate and break a huge battery pack of 600 kilogram or something like that uh, it's a better solution for that but it, it is well on the way uh, of the tr transitioning to um, pure electric vehicles it is a bridging technology the vision BMW i vision dynamics are uh, illustrated what are our idea for the next step we will introduce and not only for a concept like that even for other uh, concepts so a range the 500 kilometers 600 kilometers will be a new normal beginning of the next of the 20s it's always kind of unusual to talk about 20s because that's a long time ago so you, you know what I mean so um, um, I think that illustrated well okay 500 600 kilometers is possible then because we will have to uh, two steps to go there with uh, another update, another up update when it comes to battery technology. And of course, um, another uh, aspect, and we didn't talk about a lot about um, that car, is the combination of electric drive and uh, autonomous or automated driving, the next steps for that.